You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is Black Hollywood Live this week, featuring news and commentary on this week in Black Hollywood. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live this week, Dario Kristen. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Black Hollywood Live this week. Yeah. I'm your host, Dario Kristen, and here joining me as my co-host is DJ Jesse J to the left of me. What up? Mm. The lovely Aaliyah Cruz across from me. Mm. And we have a very special guest in the house tonight that we're actually super excited yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. The star and executive producer of Second Generation Wands, Mr. Damian Dante Wands yeah, is in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the claps, Cheer get the claps, get the claps. I'm and, here, I'm here. And he's here on our premiere episode, so Ooh. you know how the evening's gonna go. That's all I got to Ooh, say. No pressure, no pressure. No pressure, right? <laughs> it's a whole lot of pressure. It's a whole lot of pressure. <laughs> well, we're gonna be covering a lot of topics tonight. Some include Beyonce mm. and her PETA troubles, Janet Jackson's secret marriage confirmation, the hottest fashion from the Oscars, and the latest on the Michelle Obama haters. Ooh. But before we get started, I want to remind everybody to go to BlackHollywoodLive.com, go to our buzzer meter question of the week, and the question is, are you sick of Chris Brown and Rihanna's drama? Yes. You let us know what you think, and we're going to read the results on next week's show. Now, let's get this started a little bit. Jesse, what do you have for this week's trending topics? So, WeTV is coming back with one of my favorite TV shows. She is here. The Braxton Family Values is coming back March 14th, 9 p.m. You guys can check it out. We're going to learn that Tony, she wants to become an actress and not and ditch the music. Um, Tawanda is finally having sex with her man. Thank you, Jesus, because I've been waiting for that. And the whole family is against Tamar Braxton. Oh, uh, well. Because, well. you know, her fame has kind of risen now. And, so and she's got the new show with Vince, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also on WeTV, I don't know if you guys know, Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child, she's getting her own reality TV show mm. called My Sister's Keeper. She's actually uh, going to be producing the show herself. And it's basically about her, her sisters, and we're going to get to see the inside of her life. And yeah. I'm excited because. I've seen Michelle in interviews. She seems really funny, so I'm glad she gets a, a chance to shine. But do we think the show is going to be interesting? No. I mean, honestly. <laughs> no. Uh, Damien, you look like you got uh, something uh, you want well, to say. Well, I mean, you know, what? I was just waiting for, let's let's for, for, for the incredible setup. But uh, first and foremost, like, let me just give it up for the host. You know, Thank I you. did an incredible you. job Thank with that you. intro. Um, now, do I think Michelle's show is going to be interesting? I don't know. You know, she she's the one member in the group that I always go... Hmm. hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So I'll be curious to tune in, give the show a couple of episodes, feel it out, and see what's what. What you think, Miss Lady? Oh, I'm excited to see it because exactly what you said. We never get to see her. We don't know anything about her backstory. We have no idea. And she had like a really... she. Uh, she addressed the Keisha Cole commentary, and she had a really smart, like, sassy response. So I'm excited to see what she mm, has to offer. I agree with that. Now, now, she looked like she'll scratch you. Well, she's, I want to yeah, yeah, scratch yeah. somebody. And, and, and Keisha looked like she got some real hood oh, in her. Keisha's oh, hood. So, Keisha's yeah, hood. Yeah, yeah. No, Keisha's, Keisha's hood. Keisha hood. So yeah. now you're going to do a show about gospel. I leave Keisha alone. <laughs> that's, just, that's, just, that's just me. And Michelle weighs like 90 pounds wet. <laughs> that so much? I, but she was acting right. like it wasn't a beef. Her whole response was like, I don't have time for this. Like, I don't delete my tweets. It <laughs> is what it is. She tried to kill her in silence. Right. Girl, yeah, yeah. Oh, the deadly blow. Classy, <laughs> classy, classy. Her, her, her silence was she performed at the Super Bowl. Thank oh. you. Okay. Bye. 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 And, and Bye. Keisha did not, so mm. that's true. It's mm. low hate. I all like right. Keisha. So though. moving on from that, uh, I know we all know that we just had the one year anniversary of Trayvon Martin's death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, February 26, 17 year old Trayvon Martin was yeah. shot uh, because he was accused of running around a neighborhood with a hoodie. So mm -hmm. I guess this year uh, they did the Million Hoodie March um, and Jamie Foxx showed up and sang with the parents. That's dope. It was a really cute little in memory of him. And I, I can't believe it's been a year already. Wow. It is kind of crazy. Yeah. The whole Skittles and hoodie situation. Senseless acts well, of violence. Exactly. And hopefully we get some justice out of this. I'm not going to go into my whole Zimmerman movement right now, but that guy needs to fry. That's all I got to say. Absolutely. Uh, Don't yeah. even get you know, me started. We, we, we can all pay tribute, rock our hoodies with pride. Exactly. That's what I did on that day. So, uh, you know, big up for Jamie for doing that. Yeah. That's Absolutely. what's up. Um, all right. So, 
a little lighter note, we got Beyonce is doing big. Every week we got something about Beyonce. Always Beyonce. The queen. She is the queen. Whoa, but look at her. So Whoa. she's doing, hey, hey, we hey. all know she got paid mad money by Pepsi uh, to be their uh, campaign person. And so she just released these Andy Warhol Hall inspired Pepsi images. Dope. Which are going to be sexy. limited edition uh, images on the cans. Yeah, that I they're saw gonna them. Start to release. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I, I like think it. I need it's one. Cool. I think I need one. And and I'm, aren't they calling? They're not <laughs> even calling her the Queen Bee. They're calling her King Bee, right? King Bee. King Bee. Now that's a title. Ooh, when a woman dope. gets the King I love Bee, it. that says a lot. That's that's yeah. baller status right there. She is the epitome of baller. She right is. Now. Like yeah. I need a Wayans wall hall. You know how good <laughs> Why don't you make it with all the family members? Wait, all I up feel in like that? they did do one of those. Did they? Isn't it on your Instagram? I didn't get it. No, it's not on my Instagram. Oh, somebody made a painting. That's what it was. Of okay. the family and it's but, but similar right colors. Here, yeah, but this is this is dope. That's yeah, all the status did. right there on cans. Well, there we go. That's you just big. got the idea. We need to see we, it. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, we, yeah, that's it. We need to get that. Y'all can't get a percentage. Yeah. Definitely well, see that. Get a you can't get, you get no, no publisher. <laughs> uh, all right. So the other thing Beyonce is doing, she's teaming up with the NYPD. This is kind of very interesting. I know Aaliyah's got a lot to say about this. Whoa. Mm. So basically, <laughs> oh. Michael Williams, he's a part of Family Tree Entertainment. Oh, she looked bad Wants there. to kind of end this whole uh, gun control situation. So if you turn in your gun in New York, you can get a free ticket to the Beyonce or Jay Z concert. Mm. Mm. I'd Thoughts. probably buy a gun just so just, I can get it. In the just so you turn it in. <laughs> well, honestly, it's honestly it's probably cheaper. Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I, you know, I think this is do first of all, she looks gorgeous in that picture. Oh, she, she? Uh, she's killing the game right yeah, now. And if you can't see the picture, it's her and a police officer's uh, uniform. If you're listening to us, it's from the If I Were a Boy. Ooh, mm. and yeah. she looks bomb. And for yeah, the people who can't see the picture, as Aaliyah was saying, please go to YouTube and you can watch our videos and you can see all the pictures that we're Boy, watching. Go to Black Hollywood Live. Or you go to Black Hollywood Live. Or, or, or just com. picture Aaliyah in that same exact. Or outfit. do that. Because mm. you know, I, I hello. Got a little bit. Yeah, th 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 <laughs> this is a delicious female next to me, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all probably can't <laughs> see you. it, but wow. Hello. <laughs> Wowzers. Um, all right. Uh -oh. so, <laughs> we got sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the final Beyonce story we have is this one's very controversial. Uh, at the Super Bowl, Beyonce wore this black leather skirt situation yeah. and it was made out of iguana uh python and cow skin she likes some like exotic nine so, different animals no no no, no that was from the dress so now uh isabel she's obsessed with isabel morant shoes which mm -hmm. everyone is um now beyonce didn't custom make this it was custom made by a company called pmk and basically it's made up of stingray ostrich calf's fur crocodile and anaconda everything that costs a lot of money right is in that shoe but my thing is is like stingray who's thinking of everything that? you won't see in the hood but you know what she wants her shoe to be made up <laughs> right. i have a stingray watch and i have a st i love stingray and you know i'm sick for this i know i am i know PETA could get me like you could get me because i go to the zoo and i'd be like oh i'd like to wear you <laughs> but at the same time there's a small part of me that's like i know if they show me one of those videos i'd be like oh i don't want to wear it anymore. i don't even want to eat me well so here's my question for you guys it, what's when's too much is that too much or is it you know nine I mean, different we, animals Ooh. I mean, I mean we kill that, cows do we sit there and think oh the poor stingray the poor cow here, here's what i say that's too much for little quiche on the block but right. for beyonce beyonce can rock a cow on her toes <laughs> she can rock a cow she can rock a cow on her yeah, toes she can yeah all right i agree as long as she ain't rocking a camel toe <laughs> 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 well, speaking of Beyonce, if you guys want to go on iTunes funny. and download Beyonce's album, after you guys do that, make sure you go on, download Black Hollywood Live. We are on podcast on iTunes. Download, rate, subscribe, leave a comment. It's free. Rate us five stars. We appreciate <laughs> it. And um, yeah, iTunes, Black Hollywood Live. Now, Leah, what do you got for us for gossip and rumors from this week? Well, I have the fa my favorite rumor of the week. I'm going to start with that. And that's Kanye West. It's not so much a rumor. He's been on a tantrum tirade mm -hmm. where he's thrown several tantrums over in London during the middle of his concerts, kind of, you know, improv a little bit, I would like to call it. And he went off on everybody, uh, Justin Timberlake, Jay-Z, Taylor Swift, a bunch of people, basically. Um... You know how Kanye does it. He's just like uh, that. I, I, you know what that is? That's love right there. He's yeah. just a little bit hurt. Hurt that from what? He's exactly. going on tour with Justin. Yeah. He loves Jay. That's like my cousin going to do a show with Nick Cannon. Ooh. You know, Ooh. like you know, love, love, love Nick, love everybody. <laughs> but hey, man, that's my cousin. I want to do the show. Well, with so him. Why, why is he picking all these other people? He went after the Grammys, Taylor Swift. Uh, who else? Lady Gaga. He has some Hennessy. 
Yeah, a little bit of change <laughs> before he goes. Like, listen, he, what makes Kanye great is the same reasons why we pick on Kanye. Right. He's passionate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's a passionate mm -hmm. artist, yeah. and that's where his talent comes from. So you got to accept the good with the bad. I agree with I that. Totally yeah. I totally agree. I love his train wreck. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I, I'm serious. Like his rants. I, I actually feel the emotion with him because I know he's still really battling with his mother's death. And I and when I watched that video, that's what I felt. I mean, and it was some Hennessy mm -hmm. jump in there too. Mm -hmm. Don't get it wrong, but I also feel like there's some internal things still just brewing from just the past. Some of the best mom and all artists that stuff. are the most conflicted. I agree. And that's yeah. what makes he's a great a, artist. He is a talented, talented dude. He's yeah. one of he's one of our greats. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. if we if, if we ever lost Kanye, we all be sitting back like, damn. I agree. I, I exactly. miss Kanye. I completely agree. Yeah. He is hip hop. He's he an is. artist. He's, he's, a, he's an artist. a true artist. Oh. Now you and have some Janet Jackson stuff too. Right? I do speaking have some of true artists. Speaking of true speaking artists, of true artists <laughs> I do have some Janet Jackson stuff. So she been keeping her swirling on the DL. I don't know why, <laughs> but she want to be like quiet about. I don't know. I like me some white boys. I have a white baby, but um, oh. but oh. yeah. So this basically, is Black Hollywood Live. <laughs> <laughs> exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> um, Oh, oh. <laughs> so yes, so royal yes. Wedding. Uh, it was. I heard it was a wonderful. Uh, this is actually her third marriage, and um, <laughs> this is a billionaire. Is he's Middle Eastern? And can you imagine like what the Christmases and birthdays are like for this woman? I mean, he manages like Aramez wow. and Balenciaga, Whoa. and I mean. But it was real sneaky. Well, not sneaky, because I guess they wanted I mean, to keep it private. But basically, they said they were going to do this huge elaborate wedding. Right. And then right. Threw oh. them off. But what's wrong with we that? Had, we got his What's wrong with that? And they're preserved, and they stay together. And but it's I, not I, all in the mix. I have two statements I to make. That. Janet clearly has a type, because this dude reminds me of yeah. Renee Elizondo, or whatever his name was from back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then she do the same thing. Elder Barge, brother. Mm -hmm. Then she do the same thing. Like, she got the secret marriage yeah, jumping off marriage. twice. Yes, uh, yes. Second secret marriage. I'm about to throw out an exclusive right now. You know me and Janet were married. Oh! <laughs> we got it. Know that. She we was got married it. four times. She was married four times. You so, know what? Wikipedia, Wikipedia must have left that one out. We got you know, it. Wikipedia is always. She wrong. was just threw a bunch of money at like we don't want to claim this one. <laughs> no. We don't want this one. He, he ain't a billionaire. And then my other my my other statement is now is she gonna have to start wearing the gar Garmin you know the garbs or whatever the 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 wardrobe Why that the women because he's Middle he Eastern is she gonna have to start wearing the, that's you know you know he got so much money. <laughs> no, no, I'm not mean. No, I'm not saying that in a racist way. I want to know, like, is, when she's in his country, is she gonna have to change her wardrobe? Boop. I okay, th I, guess. I think. This but you know what, though, maybe though, because no, if, if I'm not honest, being funny. Like, okay, if I date a black guy, true story. This is no lie. If I date a black guy, I'm going to meet your mama with my curly hair and an afro for real, because I don't want to hear about how I'm a Mexican. I don't want to hear about. Well, how well, tell Damien. <laughs> that's what it is. is I'm going to meet do? your mama. When you meet my mama? Yeah, and with curly hair. Uh -huh. With curly hair. With curly hair. Okay. All right. All right. Done deal. And when I, and when I come to your your your, your meet your parents, uh -huh. I'm just gonna drink Corona all day. <laughs> done deal. That's well, the trade off. They didn't sign a prenup, and if they do get divorced, she gets like fifty million. It's like fifty million. Or, 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 but why? Five hundred yeah. million. It's yeah, like, it's let's like, not it's talk about divorce. Crazy. You know what? I would, although I do respect how she how she moves in silence. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. There's yeah. a certain yeah. type of exclusivity you want to have. Uh, listen, she may have some kids, and we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, they allegedly, say she has that secret daughter. Allegedly, this exactly. Is what, this is what I'm saying. It ain't Reby's daughter. But wait, well, I respect it. You know, I respect the silence. Me too. Mm -hmm. Big up. Good luck to them. Good luck, Janet. Now, Good Clive, luck, you got Janet. something for Clive too, right? I do have something for Clive. Somebody who is uh, done silent. with the secrecy. <laughs> done with the secrecy here. Clive was actually on Wendy Williams, and you know he's come out in his book about him being bisexual, and he spoke to the rumors of Wendy, or of um, Whitney, rather, being a lesbian, and he said he didn't know her in that capacity, and he really didn't know, but he did say that he's dating a man now, and that that is his I new adventure. I just got adventure. one question. Why he wait so long? Uh -uh. Like, I have my own suspicions like, of this. Wait, like, can we please Clive go Clive into Clive 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 for our listeners? This is Clive Davis. Yeah, Clive, Clive, Davis. Clive Davis. Yeah, Mr. Clive Davis. I mean, why he waits so long? Why not just drop it in your 30s so you can really get your Clive on? Right. You know? Yeah. Well, see, here's my thing. I feel like he's been getting his Clive on. Mm -hmm. Right. I bet he has, yeah. The world is just finding out. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Us peasants. Well, mm -hmm. I think he also said that he was married twice, and then he said that he, you know, he started having a relationship with a man right after his second marriage that was probably the I think they were saying uh, like 20 years ago so he was you know mm -hmm. I mean he was doing his thing on the on the DL so right. no. it's not a big surprise all of a sudden he's been doing it for a while I just wonder why just he's doing it. it is he really doing it because that's he I don't know do you know I'm what, not gonna go there do well, you know what Clive you got Davis, a book coming out 
Yeah, now exactly. we got to find out. Yeah, he got now, trash now we got Kelly Clarkson. We got to read. Big up Whitney. Yeah, and what gay guy is trashing Kelly Clarkson? That's what I want to know. R.I.P. Right. the Queen, Miss Whitney Houston. <laughs> I know, I know. We she lost an incredible that. voice. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. True. Amen. Yeah. But okay, so what? So what else you got for us? So, the final news I have in gossip is... Girl, bye. I, <laughs> have you guys heard about uh, The Bachelorette? Like, okay, there's controversy. It's been almost 25 seasons of The Bachelorette, and none of The Bachelor or Bachelorette contestants has been anyone of color. So, there's this woman. She's a dentist, and she's campaigning now for her role. The thing is, she turned it down mm -hmm. a couple years ago. She was going to be a contestant. She mm -hmm. turned it down. That's where I have the problem with it, because most of... The Bachelor Bachelorette people who actually get like they started all... out as contestants. Yeah, they started out as contestants. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, Thank she you. Wa she wanted to skip the line. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You know, she wanted to skip the line. Yeah. So she's campaigning now. So she's starting this campaign. Hey, uh, Would you like to date this wonderful, luscious she's, dentist? She's cute. my thing. She's cute. I mean, she got Would you like to be a contestant? Need love too. Go Absolutely. and give this sister a shot. She's beautiful. She's, why, yeah, why, why she's not? definitely trying. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's saying she's not beautiful. The rose is kind of cheesy, but I know that's part of the show. Is that their that's their thing? Yeah, yeah. Low key, they could have did We could drop the rose, and and it's time. No, low key, she needs no. We drop a couple things from the phone. Photo. She's beautiful, <laughs> but she needs she needs a badass makeup artist, a badass hairstylist, mm -hmm. and like she needs some like whatever. If she was in a campaign, she got the money. She she could campaign correctly, girl. Hey. Come holler at me because you a pretty girl. Let's let's work. Sisters it up. need <laughs> love too. Look, but the but, but, the thing is, she didn't want to be a contestant because she said the chances of me going against like twenty other girls. Am I really gonna get picked? Mm -hmm. I want to. Be I understand able to that. Have choices. I really. She says she really wants to find love. Yeah. 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 So I mean, I'm not mad at her, but. Yeah, and she's she's the rules are you know the way that they've been going about it is the final four from the previous Thank season you. yes are up to be the next bachelor bachelor right. yes so they are saying that this season there is a chance but if she campaigns enough that's the whole reason why they pick a a, a contestant is because like oh we know you we have an idea look we're gonna know her so she's, she's campaigning to gain popularity yeah and and that's the way to do it though really well, because listen, it's they been, could say, oh, it's made such a noise. It's been 25 seasons, and it's been 10 years. <laughs> it's time for somebody it's black. Time. We have a black president. Would you it's like time. to be the next? Oh, no, you wouldn't. The next bachelor, that might be a little bit of a problem, <laughs> sorry, but we sorry. won't get into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, can we get into the damn Oscars? Yes. I have a lot of things to say about Oscars. I'm sure you do. I do, I'm I'm sure. I do sure but I think we should do the live read first before we get into the Oscars. Ooh. Well, so we do Black Hollywood Live here, but I'm also a host over at AfterBuzz TV, and we have tons of shows for you guys to check out. Uh, I'm the host of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We have Deception, Scandal, uh, tons of other shows. Make sure you guys check us out at AfterBuzzTV.com. Mm. After Bam! Buzz All right, so now TV? to this week's hot <laughs> topics. All right, so we just came off the Oscars. I'm not sure who all watched them. They were pretty, I, I thought they were exciting. What? I mean, I liked them. I mean, I know, what? you know, there was a lot of back and forth about Seth hosting them, but I thought he was funny. But besides all that, we got the best dress and Wait, the worst dress. Wait, hold up. What's up? Yes. You're into yes. comedy. You're yes. like yes. king of comedy. We oh, 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 I thank you, thank you, bro. I'm gonna thank give you that. Oh. <laughs> what did you think? Did you think Seth MacFarlane was funny? This is my thing with Seth. Either you like him or you don't. Exactly. You know what I mean, he's a yeah. very specific brand. Do you like him or do? You, or do you? I, I thought he had some funny stuff. Me to too. be honest with you, you know what I mean. Some jokes hit, some jokes don't. You know what I mean. But yeah. you got to be a relentless thrower, and he was relentless with his jokes, and I think he fared well. See, Damon, that's why we're sitting on this side of the table <laughs> together. I, I, <laughs> we understand each other. I appreciate that. All right. All right, but the, one of the big topics, of course, is what people were wearing on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. So we had the worst dress and the best dress. So we have a couple pictures here of our best dress picks. Number one being Holly Berry. Gorgeous. She's yep. looking, she's giving me a lot of does, Mahogany yeah. Diana Ross 1970 mm. with her mm. little sexy dress going on and nice little cut. She's mm. giving me fine. She's yeah. giving me fine. Big step up from the Grammys. Wow. Yeah, yeah you know, at first when I first seen her... Uh, I was kind of off on it, but then when she came on stage mm. and the way the stage was lit and mm. it was sparkling mm. down, she was sitting in the chair, she was just glistening. She wore that for me. Yep. She Stop wore it, Holly. Wait, Stop you cheating it. Uh, <laughs> you cheating on Well, here's the thing. That's Holly Berry. She understands. Oh, I understand. She understands. So I'm, I'm cheating on me home. for Holly Berry, too. <laughs> and I mean, and, and I know, you know, that she, she's got the body for it. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. She got the body. Yes, That's she does. Right there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give her number one on, on our best dress list. Now, number two, we had Kerry Washington jumping Go. off here. Scandal. See the the you know I like Carrie. She brought the color going on. You know mm -hmm. there was a lot of complaints that people were wearing too many of the same things. I think I think Carrie was bringing it. What do you I think? I feel of, like she did it. It was different. 
I felt like it was safe. You yeah. know what I mean? Ooh, it was, was one of those one. safe choices. Like a, ooh, yeah, very look safe. at you, Mr. Yeah. Fashion Icon over there. <laughs> you know, there's a lot to me, man. You know? <laughs> and if those of you who are just that. hearing this and seeing this, I will tell you that this man smells really good. Ooh. Like, I need to know what cologne mm. it is that he's wearing mm. because mm. I need to wear it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. Me, oh. me, we'll save that for a Black Hollywood Live in. Portraits I'll interview. Jump in. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, I, you know, Carrie's doing it. She's doing it. It's okay. She's she's doing the classic. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, but I would say the outfit's okay. Listen, after the NAACP award, she could do no wrong for me. She just now to I, me, the NAACP, has the I got a crush on her. NAACP award, she killed it. She, she killed did it. kill it. Yeah, she she killed killing it. it on that show. She's killing it on screen. All right, yeah, hell yeah. Next up, we got Octavia Spencer. Can we just give her a hand clap? Come on, Octavia. We're gonna Come give her a hand clap for the weight loss. I mean, she looks unbelievable. Yeah, she looks like she on that Jennifer Hudson plan. She does. Whatever, whatever. I agree. Yeah, then she lost some good. <laughs> yeah, she lost that good weight. But she shouldn't go too far. Though. No, no. Don't go to Star Jones. Yeah, you know, don't problem. give me too much Star Jones in when the face. And I love you, Star. When they lose the weight, but like the the head stay the same size as the weight was. You gotta watch that. Yeah, it's like so. Let's stop right here. Stop right there. Stop right there. That's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's good. Perfect. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And I'm not even mad at right Is that a there. cream or a white? Is that what we got it going on right there? It was a cream color, and then I like that she added the little extra material <laughs> just to spice it up a little bit. I think she looks beautiful. I think she looks great. Yeah, I mean, she's yeah. gorgeous. All right, we got my man Jamie Foxx next. And his daughter. Jay Fox. Jay, Jay Fox, Fox and his daughter going on. Daughter oh, Carissa. wow. He better hold on to her a little bit closer. Oh, his daughter, I know his that men are going to come around. His daughter is gorgeous. Yeah. She's daughter a gorgeous beautiful. girl. And I, you know what? I love that suit. I will, rip, I will rock that suit. I would rock so. that I know. Suit. He looks good. Now. Is that a black bow tie he, you got going on? You can see on? his age, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fret. He looks sharp. But you can see he, he looks he looks distinguished. Yeah, I say distinguished. Yeah, very distinguished. I mean, the only thing that was really bad on this is his hairline. <laughs> <laughs> you made me cough. Sorry, well, you made me thing. cough. I, I think he was going for that for a new movie oh. role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was that? But you it's, know, it fits. It's the it's, Django it's, Unchained it's Part Two. He had to keep the hairline <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah, Django going, Unchained yeah. Part Two. Hey, that it's tailored on point. Really, he looks good. He looks clean. He looks really good. His daughter looks beautiful. His daughter looks beautiful. His daughter is gorgeous. Very tasteful. Very very well with his. I won't even say what I'm going to well, say. Let's not say account. anything right, about yeah. his daughter, you guys. All right. Okay, so now that's... We that's all a, know. She looks good. No, that's our let's leave that to the next Jamie party. I ain't going to say nothing about it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that's our best dress. We're going to move to the She's worst dress beautiful. now. So, <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Uh -oh. So we Boy, have my girl, down. Zoe Saldana. Oh, that's my Dominicano right I love, there. I, I, Little yo, known fact, I didn't uh, know I'm half Dominican, did you? I mean, you would really think she's so beautiful that she can really do no wrong, but I just don't understand what this is happening on here some people lo like are obsessed with it i don't mind it and i actually don't think she's that pretty and i and, and, oh, really what well, yeah you have to leave this, this and uh, i should be really careful saying right that now. because you know how many people tell me i look like her which maybe that's why i have like like oh, i don't look like her <laughs> but like they're like oh if you just lost a little weight you look just i look just fine okay <laughs> but look at i think that it, the dress is actually not bad to me I, I think i like the lower half better than the top i like the little little gray black swoosh it. to the bottom you i'm kind of sexy the only thing that i have an issue with is i just want her to put on about another 10 15 pounds that's yeah. it you know? she could look like Aaliyah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at her, ne her neck look crazy it look a little crazy. <laughs> I'll give like you that. You get a little crazy. All right, so that's uh, so we got a little Queen Latifah going on next. La la. Now oh, here's what. Look. She's so stunning though. I can't, I can't say I'm mad, mad at the queen. dress. I love Queen. <laughs> I love Queen Latifah, but it was too simple of a dress. It, you know what the problem is? I'll tell you right now. There's nothing to like cinch in her waist. If you guys can see this right now, it's like draping on her. There's nothing to cinch in her waist. And I'm telling you, in live, in person, this woman is gorgeous. Oh, she's like, beautiful. stop you yeah. in your track. Like, turn heads. Gorgeous. And there's not a lot of women I can say that about. She's one of them. I love Latifa. Me too. I, yes. I, I love her energy, her or as a person, off yes. and on I camera. Agree. Yes. And, but, you know, I think I, I agree with what you're saying. It, 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 you wanted to hug a little more in certain just, areas. Just, just, just her waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The waist. But, but really, she want to be rocking some jeans like that's right. how a queen yeah. Yeah. you're right about that you know what I'm yeah. no so, but picture this dress in another color it would look so much better I was picture just say, this with yeah. a belt a gold belt that goes all the way around right underneath her breast line she would look amazing but can we see how beautiful her face, oh, face right? is beautiful stunning queen. face is stunning Hello, that's I, my I, I just, go on queen and anyone who's ever stood in the room with this woman would know that like it's like I'm not kidding like heads turn men women doesn't matter you're like wow oh, she has a full presence wow mm -hmm. alright so up next we got Kelly Rowland I wanted to really. All right, here's why I. And she and she was the uh, red carpet correspondent as well. That's so. the only reason why it's disappointing because of the Grammys. Yeah. Let I, me tell y'all something. The Grammys. That she was leg sick. leaking out of that dress is sexy. To I me. I'm I'm agreeing with all you, right, Damien. So I I'm like that. <laughs> 
She I, did good with that thigh. But we talking about what, what she has. What about this dress on. leaking no, no. out over here? Yeah. Honestly, the dress isn't I like that, that, too. Isn't that bad. Did. The only reason is just because she was the best dressed at the Grammys yes, by she, far. Yes, she by far killed him. And well, you're hosting the red carpet at the Oscars. You need to step it up. And I think this was a safe choice. I think that she should, I, I don't know. I just In her defense, you try on so many gowns and it's like you have a million award shows to go to during that time and it's like, fuck, which one am I going to wear this one to? Which one am I going to wear that one to? And she picked the one that she felt like, you know, I don't know. Well, this is where I'm going to defend kill her. It at the Grammys. Because she killed it so much at the Grammys and it was so sexy, I'm not mad at her for coming, taking her, her side to a different side, saying, I'm going to step this up and kind of be more conservative at the Oscars. Well, the reality you know is. I mean? That she, doesn't she, seem she's, conservative, though. It seems ill fitted. Look right in her torso she area. She set the bar high for herself. You yes. know what I'm saying? So yes, she's she really battling herself. Yes. So I think she did all right, especially with that thigh. Go on. I'm, I'm feeling the thigh. She got the little you, Angelina I mean, Jolie thigh going on. You're going to KFC after Nobody else knows nothing to say about the way this woman looks. That's for sure. All right, up next, number four, we got Jennifer Hudson. Oh, uh, no. Wah, wah, wah. I, I, I don't want to say anything bad about Jennifer because she killed it during the performance. Your opinion, dress, your opinion. That dress is not <laughs> the best. She kind of looks like a it's weird like a, Aquaman it's just, superhero. It's just like, it needs to be oh like a Taylor Swift, Are you like there a me, tall, Jesse? thin, blonde woman. I'm feeling like some kind of superhero. I was going with that. Well, something. I'm going to say mystique. this. She sounds incredible yeah. on the show. Yes. And her outfit that she wore for that for the performance piece was... She Listen, she wore that voice. How about that? Ooh. You know what I mean? He said it. She wore that he voice. He said it. He said I, it. I, I didn't. It All right. So the last one on the list, and I hate to say this name, Kwanzaa Wallace. Oh, the Kovanjane. 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 Before. I know we're going to get so much hate mail for this. Kovanjane. <laughs> Listen. But let I'm us sorry. The fact yeah. that y'all put a little picture up, <laughs> that's so wrong. You have to understand, <laughs> Look, though. Black Somebody's Hollywood mama knew better. Somebody's mama knew better. <laughs> Somebody's mama knew better. No, for, for real. Let's let's just. I mean, the dog thing. We she goes to every red carpet with a gym dog purse. Whatever if they sponsor it. But the outfit. She's nine years old. She should not be wearing something like this that. This is the thing. This is the thing. You She's inappropriate. Know, she don't know no Leave better. Leave her alone. Her it's not her fault. Her, well, her mama, mama knows listen, better. Her, listen, her mom. They're not used to this. You know, this is a whole new arena. Listen, if she was there next year, I bet you she'd have a little something different with a better dog. Purse. She sure will because she watched Black Hollywood Live yeah, and she heard this. You're right. Home. That's right. Excuse me. I would like to say this because she is, because if she does see this, you're beautiful. You gorgeous are a gorgeous, young lady. gorgeous young lady. Obviously very talented. Nobody's knocking that. And she's killed it we on other We just feel carpets. like your mom could have came with a little cuter outfit for her you. Her mama did not listen. It's kind of matronly. It's kind of matronly. I'm defending her. Leave <laughs> her alone. Too Leave her, her alone. alone. You too right. pretty for that beautiful dress. Beautiful little girl. So, so that is our best and worst dress for the Oscars. <laughs> but moving on from the Oscars, we still have Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> We're going to talk about her performance for Dreamgirls. And I know there's mixed opinions in this room, but personally, I think she killed it. I think and we have a clip. We have a little clip that we're going to show you guys. And you can hear it as well. Well, I'm about to give her a strong J and stand up in this in this studio right now. Right now. That was a stellar performance. Strong J, Strong J, Jennifer Hudson. Strong J, Jennifer Hudson. Strong J, Jennifer Hudson. We all loved it, but someone in this room yeah, did not feel the same way. Yeah, I wonder. Aaliyah, speak what? on it. What? And how can you hate on that performance? First of all, I'm not hating on that performance. I just prefer, like, I just prefer a little less of the hollering and more like when I can understand, like, I felt the emotion. I didn't. I don't know. But oh. have you heard the original? That's what the song's all about. Like, that's, I know, it's the gut wrenching, like, pull it from your, the bottom it of seemed, your. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's not that she missed a note. It's not that she didn't, you know, give it her best. It's not that everyone didn't stand up and applaud for her. Obviously, they did. I just, something in it seemed disgenuine. It didn't seem like it was something she felt. I don't know how to explain you know what? it. I, I, Bam, I don't know in the, it. Bam in the booth actually agrees with Aaliyah. Oh, bam. Well, you bam. know what? I'm gonna disagree with both you guys. But what's your, what's your, what, Bam? Go ahead. Julia, the Tell performance us your statement. was great. <laughs> but my question is, why was she there singing in the first place? Oh, hello. That song's not nominated. Did we not watch the Oscars? <laughs> because Catherine Zeta she was an Oscar winner. She yeah. she's an Oscar winner, but. That's like saying, um, why did Oscars, anybody else come who Oscars was a previous choir, Oscar winner? they haven't had a lot of singing, and this year there was way too much singing, and the song wasn't nominated for an Oscar, so why was she there? Why was she singing? Ooh, tell because us she, really because she won for that song, man. No, she didn't win for that she, song. She I mean, won she won for the movie, she won for the movie but that was part of her 
whole winning. Okay, court. hold up. Why are we all even having this conversation? She was there because they did a Broadway tribute with Catherine Zeta Jones. Started it exactly. Out, did a horrible job. Right. Love you to death. <laughs> <laughs> she did a horrible job. She did. Then Jennifer Hudson came out and did the other Broadway musical turned movie. Hmm. That's what the whole theme was because hmm. Les Mis was up this year. Hmm. And then they came out and did their thing and killed it. And can we just Thank get you, Jesse J. I know this is Black Hollywood Live, but Russell Crowe, how you sang better at the Oscars than you did in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. Wow. And, anyway. you know, she got a standing ovation from all. Right, because yes. Catherine, everyone. Catherine everyone. Jones everyone. 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 Yeah. everyone. Everyone. Well, I mean, there was a, I mean, we're not, I'm not comparing it to that by any. No, I know. Like, don't get it twisted. But that's why she was there. It was okay. a, a little yeah. tribute thing. And right. I, I need music in my life when it comes to I the think Oscars. She well, speaking of music, that's a great safe way for the next subject again, because I'm going back to my girl, Kavanzane Wallace, because she Janae. is now starring as Annie. Annie. It's a hard not like. And I'm <laughs> excited about this. I think she's a perfect person to play this role because it re originally was supposed to be played by Will Smith. Willow, yeah. Willow yeah. Smith. Mm -hmm. yep. And w they said that Willow outgrew the part, so mm -hmm. she was the next person that they wanted in line. She got the role. Jay Z is the executive producer, so he's doing all the music, which is going to be Dope. crazy. And it's still coming out of Overbrook Entertainment, which is Will Smith, obviously, his mm -hmm. production company. Mm -hmm. So it's coming out uh, Christmas 2014 from Sony Entertainment Picture or Sony Pictures Entertainment. So it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be spectacular. I, I think it's a great choice. Can't yeah. freaking wait! I'm <laughs> so excited. This is one of the best musicals of all time. So excited, and for little orphans like me, we. This is an anthem. Oh, you was an orphan. <laughs> oh. Don't tell nobody. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm interested to see how she's gonna sing in this, or what the musical choice is going to be for this. Is well, it, they say that she's. I hope to God it ain't gonna be like an MTV Carmen. I love you, Beyonce. No, 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 she's, no, 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 no. She's this is way it. too heavy into yeah. production for it to be yeah. something like that. I know, I'm praying. Yeah. And oh, a lot God, of, I'm praying too. It's Don't trash my, my, my fucking... So I think it's going to be really good. Jay -Z I agree. Wet now, dreams, now, this please. was the positive portion to, to the evening. Now, the negative portion mm -hmm. was, unfortunately, mm -hmm. The Onion had a nasty little tweet about our girl, Kovanzane, as well. It said... Everyone else seems afraid to say it, but that Kavanzane Wallace is kind of a C word, right? Cunt. Cunt Out of control. Hmm. Out of control. I think when I saw this, I, I, my, my blood was fuming. I mean, this is so disrespectful. She's nine years old. Absolutely. And apparently the Onion is, you know, they've gone back and said that they've apologized and they're making some type of change with the person who they will not say who the reporter was who actually tweeted this, hmm. first of all. If you're, if you're going to tweet something like this, be a, a real have some adult. Balls. Have some balls and, and say yourself. exactly who you are. Show mm -hmm, yourself. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to say it's about a nine-year-old. Absolutely. Year old. But this tweet went out and an hour after it went out, it was deleted. <laughs> it better have been like, deleted two minutes after it went. It should have never even gone out. Absolutely not. That's out of control. If that was my nine-year-old daughter, somebody would be getting an ass beating for real. That's Damn. out of control. Well, how are you going to say that about a little kid? I mean, okay, I can say her outfit was kind of like whatever, but I mean, this, like, that's up to the mama. <laughs> I'm blaming you, mama. That's what it is. You don't talk to a kid like that. Out of control. Two things I'm probably going to get hit on. One, we're going to delete the picture that we put in worst uh, dressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> two, <laughs> I really don't find it that big of a deal. I understand. A nine year old? Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Hold up. The Hold girl up. is not. No, nice. I mean this. And check it, check it, because if you went One, down two, three, to the four, bogs, five, six, seven, yes, eight, everyone nine. says that is rude to say, but they all kind of agreed with the onion. There was no reason for this even for this tweet to even How be made. How can you call what, her that? What is, what is the, that? There's That's no not reason behind it. She's a liar. I'm not she's a, saying she it's just is. A word. Is it that serious? Yes. Why? Yes. She's, she's nine. nine. It's disrespectful. She's nine. It's disrespectful. Moving on. Shit. Next. Moving on. Next. Next. <laughs> we're gonna talk about. Bye, boy. Moving on. So now we're gonna talk about the Oscars again. We're gonna talk about my girl Michelle Obama, who we saw who was there she was looking lovely yeah. oh, girl. as always she announced the best picture award and it was all top secret apparently in fact the, she a lot lied of, she, she lied on jimmy fallon she said she was not going to be doing anything at the Oscars. exactly <laughs> well they were saying that even her staff they said she was actually at a dinner at the white house and they pulled her in a separate room with some of the service men and women and she went into this private area and she said it was very much like argo which the film she announced where it was very cia mission top secret and so there's been a lot of backslash a backlash about this because some people are saying that you know she's making too many public appearances. Mm -hmm. um, personally, it didn't bother me, 
Um, but some of the, the negative quotes that are coming out there is... Well, why didn't it bother you? It didn't bother me because, <laughs> I, 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 listen, I like seeing Michelle any, any place she wants to be at. She can be at. But, okay, <laughs> one of the conservative bloggers, Michelle Malkin, said, she'll be in, Michelle will be in every movie theater preview telling you to shut the cell phone off and put away your popcorn next. And so oh, what? Oh, and if... That's and, a and, Yeah, exactly. And, and if she does, and what whatever. of it? And you're whatever. damned if you do, you're damned, you're damned if, if you, you don't. don't. Let that right. girl shine. Go on, Miss Preston. She looks good. She I love good. the bangs. Let's she keep was it killing it. Mm -hmm. One of the, the probably the worst tweet, which I kind of understand this one, but it was from Iran State News Agency. They actually photoshopped her silver dress and put sleeves on it with a higher collared outfit because of just their religion. And, oh, they and, feel and, her outfit. Oh, <laughs> they, like they felt like oh, her outfit was a little a bit slut. too risky. That outfit is out of control. I agree. Who I agree. let her wear that? But I'm listen, totally Michelle blamed. was asked to come there she by Harvey gorgeous. Weinstein, who's the big studio executive, mm -hmm. as we know, and right. his daughter Lily. So she said she was very honored. She said they sit in the White House and watch movies. Ben Affleck was asked about her appearing. He said he was in a daze when he saw her. He hmm. said it was spectacular. He loved her yeah. being there. And this is what I love. This is Mich Michelle Obama's quote back from all the haters. It said, it was absolutely not surprising that her my satellite appearance provided a national conversation. She Ooh. said, she said, <laughs> shoot, my bangs set off a national conversation, Ooh. and my shoes can set off a nav national conversation. Ooh. That's just where we are as a nation. Mm. Bam, Get she it? is here. Bam. Oh, I love Bam. it. I love it. And on Feisty. that note. That concludes our news and gossip oh, and hot topics for the week. Ow. But be sure to tune Open in it. to Black Hollywood Portraits because we're going to do an exclusive interview with Damien yeah. Dante Wayans, yeah. Yeah. the man, the star, the executive producer of Second Generation yeah. Wayans. So be sure to tune in to that. But where can everybody be found? Jesse? DJ Jesse J, Twitter. Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Cruz at, at Aaliyah Cruz with a K. At Damien D-W-D-M-D-A-M-I-E-N-D-W on Instagram and Twitter. And Damien Dante Wayans on my Facebook fan page. Holla. And I'm D-E-R-R-I-L-C-H-R-I-S-T-O-N on Twitter. And we will see you at <laughs> Black Hollywood Live Portraits. Peace. From producers Maria Menuno, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, Dario Crystal, and the entire VHL staff, we would like to thank you for tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network. If you have questions or comments, tweet us at BHL Online or email us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. For more exclusive content, visit blackhollywoodlive.com. This has been a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals. This has been a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network.